warning, spoilies ahead. Ooh, what are you what are you sipping on, sir? This is some of Bert's toilet wine. Mm. It's really good. You're lucky. Uh, I never get anything like that. Is it strong? It's good. I'll have him send you a bottle. It's probably not going to make it. Dugan usually confiscates everything. Uh, <coughs> yeah, it's really good, though. You should have some. Well, may, may... I'd, I'd really, that's, I'd how really... You're that's how you're supposed to enjoy it. You're supposed to aerate the mouth and get the tannins going. Wow. That's what I've been told by Bert. He's he used to be a sommelier, uh, or however you want to call it, and uh, it was a wine guy, real wine head. Is that, is that what they're called? Called wine I think heads. So. That's what he. I mean, that's what he refers to himself constantly as. Says, I'm a wine head, and I was like, I know, Bert. I'm trying to sleep. He just he just walks around saying stuff like that. I'm a, I'm wine, a head. wine head. You know me, a regular old wine head. I, I'm not having any wine. Uh, I barely oh. get uh, scraps for dinner. <laughs> For, for any meal, really, and there's barely a meal at that. <clears throat> I'm pretty stuffed from lunch today, dude. What What did you get? Oh, dude, they gave me fucking, like, a tofu wrap, which is really cool, because they don't even have it here, so they brought it in special for me, because they're like, we don't give a shit. Usually they don't give a shit if people are vegan, but they're like, hey, buddy, something about you. You're a celebrity, a very minor celebrity. So they brought in some tofu. I had a tofu wrap. I uh, had a nice uh, um, salad with it. I don't, you know. Normal things. They gave me a good uh, uh, giant cookie for dessert, too. Oh. And a big old piece of chocolate cake. It, wow. I, I've had yeah, good. Uh, I've had bread crust and uh, toilet water. You know, I guess it's close to toilet wine. They know we're on the same show, right? Like, Yeah. 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 I said that, you know, I know Dylan. Dylan and I hmm. are we do. Pro, we do. We're on Project Nerd. We 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 do a show together like you're. The other half of two guys from film were the two guys. You're one of the guys. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've said. You know, and hmm. they're like, if we catch you with uh, recording gear in here, we're gonna confiscate. It. So every time we finish, I have to put this away. I have to hide this. Oh wow. Okay. Maybe yeah, I'll talk to. It's it's to been Dugan pretty rough, it. dude. Yeah. I don't I don't know if Dugan's gonna care much. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm pretty tight with Linus, so he could probably get something going for that. I'll get word to Linus, and we'll get you hopefully some good, some better treatment. I mean, I would, uh, I would certainly appreciate that. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm happy that you're having a, a fine time in here, though. That it's that, not too bad. It's really not too bad. Toilet wine is, uh, it's probably my new, my new, my new favorite drink. This episode brought to you by Bert's Toilet Wine. It's really good. Bert's toilet wine. It's really good. Hello, and welcome to Two Guys, One Film, a Project Nerd original show. I am Dylan. And I'm Dane. And this week we watched Mandy. It's, uh, Mandy, it came out in 2018. It's directed by Panos, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced your last name. I don't know how to do it. Uh, Cosmatos, Cosmatos. I don't know. But I just know the your first name sounds Panos. more fancy. Yeah, Cosmatos, Cosmatos. Uh, his dad brought us such great movies as Tombstone, uh... Cobra, and Rambo, First Blood Part Two, whatever the second Rambo. I don't know. Wow. But Panos, I don't know if you've watched his other movie, is Beyond the Black Rainbow. And if uh, you viewers haven't watched that, watch that as well. I, so, I myself have not seen that. I'll have to check it out. It's very good. It was, I think, he did it before this. It was like one of his first movies. And it's kind of the same style where it's like slow, very colorful, very creepy. And it's it's good. It's not as like hyper violent is this one but anyway i don't know i didn't feel like this was very slow yeah i think other other people do but i don't know other people are dumb when it comes to watching movies. well just other people are dumb in general <laughs> yeah red and his wife girlfriend mandy live out in the woods and they're in a nice house he's a lumberjack a crazy religious cult led by joseph 
uh, he's the, he sees her on the side of the road one day and is like, I must have her. And then they go after her and she gets real crazy. She gets weird. She gets, yeah. But the movie does start out with my all time favorite King Crimson song. I, that was so cool. Which is startling. I was, like, I was totally not expecting that. Yeah, that is that is my number one King Crimson song. That's like the best King Crimson album, in my it's, opinion. It's it's pretty pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, but that's like it made me want to put the album on after I heard that song. I was like, oh. yeah, it's such a good fucking song. And that's like I think that's one of my funeral songs. I want I want to be played at my funeral just because like the length of it, so everybody has to sit there through the entire thing, you know. Well, hopefully, um, there are people like us there. You know, I, I mean, don't wanna, hope you'd show up to my. I funeral. don't want to be at your funeral. I'd rather you be at mine. So, <laughs> oh, I so see there's that. that. <laughs> Mine's going to be an all nude funeral. So oh, I man. hope you're ready to see like, you know, our old friends naked. <laughs> yeah, about fucking time, dude. <laughs> and all it took was Inclu you, man. <laughs> including me. <laughs> yep. It's the open also, casket. It's just the it's an open casket, but I don't believe in like formaldehyde and shit like that. It poisons the earth, so it's just gonna be a disgusting. <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, it starts out with um, some King Crimson. It's like this well, movie first, is. It first starts out with that cool poem at the beginning. Yeah, I was like, dude, that's fucking sick. I'm like, yeah, that's what. I want fucking my funeral. Very like deep. Yeah. Put some headphones around me and some speakers, dog. And I was like, yeah. fucking rock and roll me. I was like, like hell yeah, yeah that's what bro. I want. Yeah, it's this movie is 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 fucking beautifully shot. I love the colors in it. But Just I love some of the the shots themselves. There's the one where the well, the one that like I thought I think of the one that popped out. Um, was when they're on the boat and I'm kind of jumping ahead a little. They're just sitting there oh, yeah. on that boat chatting. Yeah. I love like the way the water looks, just the and shot, the way they're completely yeah. surrounded and it's just them in the middle. Like I love yeah. it. And it's <clears> just like they 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 do a good job with sound. Cause like it's that opening intro and like there's some sound effects going, but when it goes to him in the chainsaw, it's like completely silent. Yeah. Like him cut through the tree. And like there's a few other moments in the movie like that where like other noises are happening, but like certain other noises aren't. It's it's fucking cool. But yeah, like the colors, there's a lot of reds, a lot of purples, a lot of yellows, a lot of, a lot of reds. Yeah, lots and lots of reds, just like random red light. Oh, I love the but the like the gray, the green strobes like on, yeah. on like the uh, when they're showing the, the, the dagger or whatever, the dagger and the horn. Yeah. And then but when he. Uh, oh, sorry. Or when they're in when they're in bed and. Well, I thought it was really cool because she's the only one that has like the kaleidoscopy like color and yeah. the rest of it, like the background, including him is still dark. It's mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of contrast in this movie. It was really cool. Like it was just yeah. really artsy, but like not in, like a lame, like alien uh... trying too hard. to be artsy. <laughs> Yeah. You know, like, you're like, I get it. You're you know what aliens I'm talking filmmaker. about? Yeah. Resurrection. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Where it was mm -hmm. extremely artsy, but like not in a fun way. <laughs> That's my impression of Ellen Ripley and Alien Resurrection. <laughs> the coolest part was but, when that gross alien gets sucked out of that little yeah. hole. In. <laughs> uh, when Sorry. Uh, so I like about his performance in general in this movie is like he doesn't get a whole lot of lines. Yes. Like the beginning he does, like the knock knock, who's there? Eric Estrada. That made me laugh. Eric Estrada from Ships, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" That made me laugh. I thought it was funny. It was but ridiculous. Then there's like a funny. huge gap of the movie where he doesn't talk. Yeah, and then when he does at the end, it's like all, all distorted. Like I am your god. I was like, "Dude, fuck yeah!" It's just it's it speaks volumes to like his acting too, is that he's able to like not well, say shit, and you're just like, "Fuck, that's some good." Acting. I guess we'll get to that part, but I there's there's just a lot there's stuff I want to talk about throughout yeah. this movie. Yeah. Uh. The fucking just the synthy um, soundtrack to this movie oh. is oh yeah, dude. I would just love to just listen to the soundtrack to this because there's just some cool, just really cool like stuff going on in the background. You, it's I think you can. I mean, which uh, who did this? Johan Johansson, Johansson, Johan Johansson, whatever. All right, dude. Yeah, well, it's a. It's a fucking sick soundtrack. Like it is a, oh god, and it's it's 
it's so like deep and bassy sometimes it's like Bwah! yeah like when it would reveal a shot but then there's still some fucking cool like yeah there's well it's cool there's it. there's synth but there's guitar too mm -hmm. like there's just heavy guitar sometimes and yeah dude like this whole movie felt like um like it should be like a uh, um what's the name of that band i keep it just sounds like it would be an album, like it would be an album. And I was like, oh, yeah. man, this could easily be a fantastic doom metal like album. Mm -hmm. Like you could write an entire album about like Mandy. That'd be fucking sick. I'd, I would love it. <clears throat> All right. That's ours. We're locking it in. We're making... uh, our, what was our what was our band name? Our doom metal know. band name, because that's what it is. We're, we're it's locked. Uh, it's in. in a previous episode. We'll watch a previous. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nobody, yeah. nobody steal it. You go back and you watch it and it's ours. it's we in there. In. Because, I mean, we it's even said there. that in this. We said, oh, we locked it in. That's our name. Yeah. So go back season one or two. I don't remember. It's we, are known, we are known for writing quick concept albums. So. It happens. <laughs> I just like there's that cool theme of like fantasy sci-fi novels. It's yeah. like even like the it feels like the cult even follows that because they have like such weird names for daggers and like horns and stuff. It's just like and then like. There's that really cool shot after they talk about their favorite planets and how his he changes his mind from Saturn to Galactus. Yeah, Galactus isn't a planet. Yeah, but he eats them. He eats planets. Yeah, he but there's that fucking beautiful shot of like it's like nighttime and it's like the the moon and shit, and it looks like a science fiction cover novel. Then it like fades into like that morning shot with like the crazy clouds and shit. And yeah, it's, it's like such that like cool, a like galaxy looking like yeah, and it's such like a fake looking sky, but in a good way, like it's painted, yeah, like a like a like a novel, like a cover of a fucking like science fiction novel. And I love I think, that. Then it, yeah, it pans. I down think part there, of it yeah. is the way that it's lit, like it mm -hmm. looks old and like I don't know, it like not cheesy, but like you said, like it looks fake, but like yeah. in a really cool way. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I guess hard in to a describe. painterly kind of way. Yeah, uh, there is a spot. Once again, spoiler alert, when they're at the lake and she's coming out of the water and she's like in front of the fire. I was like, oh, I know. I only I oh, caught that at later. And, and yeah. that, that part made me jump because it's just a quick shot of her. I'm like, oh, huh. yeah. Right. <laughs> like, just standing because her of eyes fire. are just like. Like, like I do like how like one eye is different color than the other two. The scenes in the like there's some uncomfortableness like it's cool the way that um. I like it when when uh, directors can do that, build like tension yeah. without really much going on, you know, maybe lingering on a scene a little bit too That's... long, but not yeah, like, like long uneasy. enough for you to really like sink it all in. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like a it's like a, a sample or like a taste. You don't get too much yeah. of it, but then you're like, yeah. oh, but then you're like, oh, I want more. So because, yeah, it's it's definitely. There's a lot of uncomfortable moments in this movie. I'm just like, Ooh. yeah, like that scene where uh, that cult leader sees her walking past mm -hmm. and it's just like her and it's just a long shot of her face. And it's not really scary, but it's like and it's then it long. like stops. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll bring me to another thing where um, it would do those like like it was like in chapters like title cards. Yeah. 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 That was really and I, cool. And like each of them had like a different kind of like style to them. Yeah. Like the children of uh, whatever the cult was called of the mountain or something like that. And how like yeah. they came in and then it was all about them and that scene where they're like in the hotel or whatever. There's that that beautiful there's a beautiful transition from them in the woods or whatever to her walking down the road when uh, they see her and she's like looking into the woods and it gets like smoky mm -hmm. and then it fades into the trees and her like walking down the road and i don't know how they did that it's such a weird shot that like blended together so perfect it's like whoa the trees do, line up what the fuck dude they do a cool they do a few of those where things just kind of blend like mm -hmm. in and out of each other yeah um oh the horn of abraxas that's what it yeah. was and just like the green strobe light when he's holding it's, it. And it's what's weird. And then it goes away from it and it's not mm -hmm. there anymore. It's. I don't yeah. know. It's a cool fucking style to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then he must take. The uh, horn of Abraxas and he knows what to do and offer up pork porch porker over there for seal yeah. the deal. 
bitch, which I, I love when he gets like yeah. <laughs> dragged Ooh, away. away. Yeah. And once again, like that's an uncomfortable scene, but not in a bad way is when the guy blows the horn like twice and just how long it takes. I love its echo. It's like a yeah. weird like. And then it like, would just like cut off. Yeah. yeah. Cause like, yeah, this is how long that scene is until he goes back into the car and then how long they actually wait. Which that is dude great. playing with the window. <laughs> dude, I got yelled at. I shouldn't say yelled at. I got in trouble for my by my grandpa for doing that in his car one time because he had electric windows. I'd never encountered electric windows before. Dude, when it's the first time. Yeah, and you do the same thing. He goes, quit playing with the damn window. And I was like, Ooh, what is fucking cool? It's electric. <laughs> so I couldn't help it either. Yeah, it's fun. And that guy's face, too, is like. I know. Well, all the time, too. Yeah, they had like all of them had such a weird. They're very posture. distinct. Yeah, like exactly. Was... And then they call Slipknot. Slipknot shows up. Yep, Slipknot shows up. They don't play any of their hits, unfortunately, but he they just... do. They do uh, drag that chubby dude. Well, they go. OK, that was another uncomfortable scene where they go into their house and it's, you know, flashes Strobe of light. Lights. Yeah, you know, and that's what made it uncomfortable because you you're like and it would be dark for a while like it was a slow mm -hmm. strobe it wasn't like something it was like yeah. slow and it would be dark and you're like well where are they now and then they're like right yeah. there and they just keep getting you know that was an uncomfortable scene yeah and it's like like you said like you want you you want to see more because you want to see what's going on but you're so fucking like in the dark <laughs> literally too of no. like it's it's fucking uneasy you're just like well, i can't see what's going on and then suddenly there's like more of them in the room but I love that sound when it like pans over into the woods and then the red light shows up and they're all standing there in silhouette and it does like the it's badass Burr. looking. Yeah, and they're all just like posing like an album cover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that strobe light scene is like very David Lynch esque to yeah. me when they're like entering the room. Like I really love that. Like some of some of the some of the shots and like the way things go felt very inspired by david lynch it's yeah very, but not like, very very good thing not ripped off yeah not like totally emulating and copying them but like yeah just inspiration just taking yeah. a little bit like little just a little piece you yeah. know it's sample. yeah when that dude gets like fucking taken away on the windows like, oh, just i'm just like him. wondering like what happened like right after that you know how yeah, far did they drag him away you know <laughs> like blood, blood for blood and like that mason jar full of drugs is that okay so that was acid like i'm i'm assuming it was like a really yeah, strong like, fucking acid yeah because like because they drop yeah, it in some... her they drop it in her eye too and i know mm -hmm. that back in the day people did used to do it like that yeah if they had like a vial of it otherwise they're and, they the and then they also stung her with a bug yeah what was with that i don't know that's one of those those like parts of the movie where i'm like i kind of want that to be explained but at the yeah, same time could, no because like, well it was it's still alive it's, in the it's jar. the it's the cherry on top cherry on top yeah i didn't understand that i'm like because like they're pulling it out and i was like and they're bringing it over to i'm like we are they gonna make her like eat that thing or like because then i'm starting to think like is this some sort of like weird alien thing going on because when this I, is the first time i'd seen this movie so i wasn't sure it was going on i just and then they don't explain that yeah, the first time I saw it, I thought it was just like the juices that the bug makes in the mason jar. Like it was dead, but like it's just pickled yeah, it's alive. It and they use and they use that juice for it. But yeah. No, it's just fucking alive. And they like hold it and it's like and it's huge. Yeah, it's it's like a monster ass hornet. I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? You know, and then never explained again. Nope. Like, what did it do? I wonder what purpose it served. I would like to know. It's the cherry on top. I feel like it it, it makes her like maybe know, more helps. complicit and like like I don't know like she seemed more like doped up than being on acid. So, well, they said it was one of the like the guy that made it made it so strong that the guy was those the people were right. the same. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for but, all I this mean, fuss and muss and all that. I know. And then bringing her, bringing him in to talk with him. I'm like, I, I see like what everyone's you're doing. Like, laid there like all, oh it's like it's very uh intentional mm -hmm. and it's very yeah, I I think... like man god like i wonder like if 
like just being like dragged into some something like that just a cult thing and just thinking like fuck this man like because mm-hmm. you know she seems like she's almost into it at first but yeah i think well like because you know she's like fucking out of it and she's mm-hmm. like you know probably a curious mind you don't know what's going on yeah but like those other people you know like they're still into this and like i, I just can't imagine that time when they did the drugs they're like i'm in this is great yeah okay well and then you know him like just whipping off Dude, that robe <laughs> fucking hanging dong for like and hanging dong seconds. for a while like it, it goes away and comes back it it's comes that, back he's still there times. dude he's hanging he hangs dong man i was not expecting dong and i'm 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 i, I don't oh, want to say i'm ex- excited for it like in that kind of way but i'm like fuck yeah dude that's not enough male yeah. nudity in movies yeah, you know seriously i thought that i thought the same way too i'm like they're going for it they're going for it Oh, there it is. Yeah, yep. show that dong, dude. And then and then she totally laughs at him and it was great. I was like, this is <laughs> what's so what's funny is you can listen to that full album by Jeremiah Sand. Like mm-hmm. it's on streaming services. Like they made a full album of that. Have you listened to it? I've I only listened to the first song because it's I think it's like that one that he plays. Like, do you do you like the carpenters? I was like, I feel like this is better than the carpenters. I'm like, no. <laughs> Although you can't really tell because it's everything is so distorted. Yeah. But yeah, you can listen to that album, which is it's funny that they actually like made the full length album. But that scene, I loved like the delay of everything and like the audio. Like yeah. I listened to it in headphones, which like I recommend so doing because it was so fucking cool. That's how I watched it. I, I, I watched it on my computer and so I could just. <laughs> but like there's a part where he has his hands up. And then he goes to put him down, but there's that lag in like the video. So like his hands are up and down at the same time. Once again, I don't know why that was a shot that really like stuck with me, but I was like, that's fucking sick. No, it was dude. it was cool. That whole that yeah. scene was shot really cool. You know, yeah, and, like the the audio is like somewhat distorted and echoey at the same time. And it like moves like around you like that. And I mean, like, I've always been curious about like cult stuff like that. Yeah. Like I think I think it piques everybody's curiosity. So to be kind of like sitting on the outside, like watching, you're like, man, this is messed up. Mm. But all right, keep going, keep going. Mm. <laughs> so this is yeah. how it all goes down. This is awful. All right. Yeah. That scene, like the drugged out scene where they're listening to his album. Mm-hmm. There's that fucking great part where he like gets in front of her face, and it's just his face, and like the audio cuts out, and his voice stops being distorted. Yeah. And then it does this thing where like it'll slowly blend into her face while he's talking and then back to his face like that was after a a few times too. Like it's fucking trippy. Like after a while, it's like, is that her face or is that his face? Because then you could like start seeing the scar and you're like, whoa. But then there was a time where I couldn't recognize any of their faces. Yeah. I was like, who am I looking at right now? Oh, my God. (laughs) But yeah, that was just so fucking cool. Yeah, and how really like that scene. super black their eyes are after doing this drugs, like for the rest of like the scene too, or they're outside, like all their eyes are just like black. I'm like what the yeah, fuck like they're is all this? fucked up. Um, and then you know she laughs at him. He gets all sad. And then yeah, well, rightly so. You know, and when it's and when it happens, it seems like that's like not something that happens a whole lot. Like he doesn't get challenged. Yeah, I mean he. Yeah, he's always been, I'm sure, all the time being told how great and powerful and great his music is. So when someone's like, this is you, this sucks, yeah, and then, and then and just then, starts laughing at you. You know, used to getting women all jacked up, and then they're probably just, you know, go for it at that point. You know, and then that doesn't happen. She just laughs in his face, and then the other people I love are kind of like, don't, don't look at me. Don't you fucking look at me. Don't like fucking that right look there. at me. You know, like that right there, if those people were smarter, would have destroyed that cult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but organized religion some people need it mm-hmm. but yeah like sense of belonging mm-hmm. even if it's weird and you have to see a dude's dick every time a new member joins <laughs> hey whatever <laughs> you do what you gotta do you know <laughs> oh oh thanks dude uh, oh thanks dude nice thanks really so what what what, what, it, what is that I have a burrito from Taco Bell. You got a burrito from Taco Bell? How do you get how do you I mean I just asked for it? Like I'm 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 literally like I'm sitting over here like starving. I'm starving. Like I haven't had you zero want, food. Do you want this one? 
I don't think Dugan's going to bring me in. I mean, even if you say like, Hey, bring this to Dane, he's going to be like, Oh yeah, sure. And then throw it directly into the trash. Or eat it. All right. I kind of feel bad, but he, like, I don't want to eat in front of you, but I kind of have to, because he brought it to me. So I feel like I'm insulting him if I don't. Well, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. Maybe, maybe finish it like after the show. I mean, I've already started it, so. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's not like you're not gonna eat it when you're done. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. I'll finish that later. So no, maybe, maybe try and send like a bird. <laughs> That's good stuff. Maybe, ah. maybe, maybe if there's like a little bit left, you can you can send it send it my way. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll eat like a little bit. It's fine. If you send uh, your uh, <laughs> some dental floss down the hall with the paper clip, I can put it on. Uh, I'll we can just... I, I'll do it. I'm doing okay. it as soon as we're finished. All right. I don't care how much is left. I, I'll I'll eat it. Okay. I don't, care, I don't care if you chew on a little. It's fine. All right. Well, I'll finish. I'll I'll leave this half for you then. All right. Yeah, uh, Jeremiah figure out out what to do after getting yelled uh, laughed at. I love his uh running makeup. Mm -hmm. like the the, the yeah. mascara but that scene where he comes out and poor like red's like got that barbed wire in his mouth i was like oh that is i know fucking like that feeling of teeth on metal yeah, it's like, like and it's like arms and hands are wrapped up with it and then he pulls out that fucking dope ass knife like i know right with, with the, the eyeball the end of it. it now i don't remember what that one was called yeah i don't i don't either but I did the same green strobe light thing. I was like, fucking yeah. dope. And then in what's his name? Yeah, this is, you better take a good look at this. Cause this is, yeah. it's not even like for so and so eyes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Human scum. <laughs> the, problem, the Jesus mistake was he didn't offer a sacrifice instead of himself. <laughs> Just like, what? Right in the side. I yeah. Like, Ooh. I know. Ah, <laughs> that's a huge blade, too. Mm -hmm. And that scene where he's like, you think you guys are in love? He's like, I'll show you what love is. And then just hands that girl that gun. I know. I'm like, it's like one, one bullet. And I like how Nicholas Cage's like uneasy reaction, like the closer it gets to her head. Yeah. It's like, oh God, like telling her like to stop. I was like, oh shit. And then yeah. does it. And I'm like, Jesus yeah, Christ. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's, I guess I don't want to get too jumping out of the rails here. Cause yeah, I'll stay, we'll stay in this scene. Cause this is a fucking hard scene to watch. Uh, yeah this one's it was like the one that when i was watching it again i was like oh i'm not looking forward to this part oh this is hard um all right so yeah uh mostly because of like how how slow it is it's an extremely like the pacing where like the people are like walking out slow and they like throw her body in the bag on the ground all slow and i was like oh this is taking forever yeah and then that whole scene fucking god damn it dude like i seriously almost cried mm -hmm. uh and then you know they just really drive that sadness right home you know like he goes what, uh, well it's it yeah you know, you go ahead it's, it's crazy because like it it takes forever to start on fire the bag yeah. and then it starts catching more on fire and then i didn't realize when i first watched it that she was still alive yeah and it yeah. starts moving and that's when i was like oh i fucking lost it i was like i yeah. can't do that oh no i mean it's bad but then it hit that i'm like that yeah when that happens and then you see his face and you're just like god dude you have to sit there and watch all that which it's a another beautiful acting scene by nick cage is like seriously dude he's like and it's it's great editing too of like he's screaming and you can't hear it. They like take the audio out of that, but then they bring you back into it and the guy's like, Oh, the the dirtier the or the darker the whore, the brighter the burn, or whatever like that. But then it goes yeah. back to Nick Cage and he's just like screaming and it's just silent. I fucking love that. And then for how long it's on him too, yeah. before it fades out and he's just like crying and screaming. I'm just like, Oh, it's so fucking good. Damn. yeah <laughs> it's a dark it's a dark moment in the movie but it's like it's, it's also... really God, the acting is fucking phenomenal coming from nick cage oh god damn dude like ridiculous um mm -hmm. and then right after that 
uh what's he do he's he's still tied up there the gang he, ships out in their station wagon and all that stuff and they're in their sick ass van mm -hmm. they uh man squeezing his hand out of that shit looked painful i want to know how he got that out of his mouth i know that's, that's like what i was tight. i like in there tight yeah so i was like man that is I That's what I was wondering. I'm like, all what it looks like is it's pulled back and then like mm -hmm. tightened around whatever's behind him. So it's like, yeah. how did you get that off, dude? I think adrenaline at that point would probably get you. Like, you'd probably pull on it, even if mm -hmm. your hands got all cut up even more and be like, screw it, I'm going to get out of this. I think it was partly good that his hand was so bloody because then he was able to like slip, slip it out it a little better. But like his, like that, that was another part too that was really hard is when he like goes over to the ashes. Oh, and you man. like still see some of it and like it blows away and it's like that cool shot of her face. And then it blows again and just like destroyed. I was like, oh, man, I was like, man, geez. And then he goes oh. inside. And that's that's a cool. That's a really cool moment because you can tell he's in like such shock and he like picks up her shirt when he's watching the Cheddar Goblin, which is great. No, so it was Car mac and cheese cart like commercial. I was like, yeah. what the? F it's like puking. Fucking I love mac it. And ah, cheese on a it's like yeah. <laughs> the Cheddar Goblin has more cheddar than any other mac and cheese. I like when he's coming up out of the cheese. It's like almost like he's like looking at him through the TV. I'm just like, yeah, I, I don't know. It just goes back said, to the commercial. I, I'm like, I, I, I don't remember what he says. It almost sounds like he says you're not a goblin or some shit like that. Like he will like mummer or something like mummer or something. He's like, oh, you're not a goblin or whatever. But then he like is still so in shock. Oh no, I think like, he, he no, I know what you're talking about. He just says cheddar goblin. Oh, does he say cheddar goblin? Like I always thought he heard like you're not a goblin. I said cheddar goblin. But how he just like shuffles over to the bed and falls down. Like he's just like still in such shock. And then has that fucking crazy. And that's when I love they start introducing the like animated Oh, that animated dream that he has. And that was freaky too. Yeah. She like turns around Whoa. and then starts melting. And that goes into the bathroom scene, which I, I probably almost fucking cried again. You know, that's like that's Jesus probably fuck, like, dude, my my favorite scene of this movie. Just for many reasons, like it's in, it's one shot. It's impressive. Like the, the bathroom looks fucking dope, too, with the yeah. wallpaper. But like he he goes through such a crazy range of emotions and but beautifully it's, like it's believable. Like, it's a book. Yeah. It's like, God, dude, it's really good. The way he's chugging the alcohol while also holding his neck, because you're like, that shit's gonna burn going down. So he's like, ah. and then the just like pouring it on like his wounds and shit. And like he goes from like crying, screaming to like just screaming, like pissed. sitting on the toilet and then just like crying again and drinking more. Like that is such a believable moment. Like that is like one of like Nicholas Cage, like he's a fucking phenomenal, phenomenal actor. But like, that's one of his performances where I was like, fuck, that's real, dude. That's not even fake. Seriously. Anymore. Again, this, I, 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 this movie made me cry almost twice. I was not like, I was not expecting that at all. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh man, this is a creepy movie. And then I almost lit, like, I'm literally tearing up from his fucking acting and he's not saying a fucking word. <laughs> no, not at all. Like there's zero dialogue from him here. He's just screaming and being mm -hmm. emotional. And even when he's holding those like ashes, just like the tears and sadness yeah. running down his face. I'm like, God damn, this man is good. I know. Gee, fuck, dude. It was that's like, yeah, that's this movie is amazing. That's like my favorite scene. Just also because like the the camera like moves in and then out like unsteadily and then moves back in when he's like on the toilet so it's almost like you shouldn't be there kind of moment but it's and just it gives you it gives you that feeling of like what do you do like mm -hmm. what what would what do you what would what do you do when something like that happens you're pissed but you you cry but you're pissed and like mm -hmm. you don't know what to do you know i like, don't know what the fuck to do it was it was genius to do it in one shot because if you were to make cuts it wouldn't have made it like mm -hmm. the emotion as hard hitting because you're like, oh, they could have done that. I mean, I'm sure they did multiple takes. Like, ah, but whatever. It takes you out of it. When it's just like one shot, you're there for the whole thing. You're just like, fuck, dude. Powerful. That's some powerful acting, sir. Good on you, mate. Seriously. Yeah. Um, but then it goes into. You're gonna you're gonna finish off the. Oh shit. You're gonna, gonna finish the burrito. So sorry. Again, like again, I don't care if it's half. Like I'm fine with a quarter. 
shit, dude. I just didn't. I don't. I mean, it was sitting there. I just like I again. Thinking. Again, a quarter is going to be like a feast for me because. Okay. So you know, and you've got a nice cup of water too. Yeah, it's a crystal glass. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Is that is that filtered water? Yeah. I told Linus, I was like, "Hey, man, the heart, the the tap water out here is really hard. It's really harsh on me." And he's like, "Cool, dude. We'll get you a little Brita filter." And I was like, "Oh, cool. Thanks, man." man so yeah, it's filtered, filtered water. Yeah, I, I again, the sink doesn't even work in my mm. in my cell. I have to drink the toilet water, and I also don't get a cup. <laughs> oh, just kind of have to scoop it out of there. That's nature's cup. That's man's first cup. Yeah, right. That's that. So you're just roughnecking it, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like I'm out in the woods. Except but inside. Rain. Yeah, but inside, you know, and it's cold. So then Red goes to the one guy's house from Predator and Commando, which is cool to see. I was like, hey, yeah. it's the guy from Predator and Commando. <laughs> and gets his Except crossbow. Was, yeah. The re what was it the Reaper? Yeah. Yeah. And some, like, fucking hunting arrows and stuff. And, like, that was once again a great acting moment from Nicolas Cage when he's like, what are you hunting? He's like, Jesus freaks. And it's like, I don't know. They were in, in season, man. <laughs> but when he's talking about why, he's like, because they burned her. And he kept like doing that. Like, yeah. just, once again, roller coaster of emotions. And it was fucking great. And then I, I didn't realize from that scene until the end, he never talks again. Yep. So when he's like, that guy's telling the story about that biker gang and stuff, he's just like listening. And then he doesn't speak through like most of the movie after that. I was like, dude, fucking great. Um, let's see. And then he makes that. Uh, well, they they chat for a little bit, and then he mm -hmm. makes that fucking sick ass axe. Oh, dude, yeah. Just like hammered away. I like the weird shape of it. It's got that handle in the top too. Yeah, yeah. That was. It almost sick. had like a, a scythe thing, and I was like, mm -hmm. it could be kind of what they're going for with the whole reaper thing yeah. going on. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if like Nicolas Cage actually made that too, like learned how to forge something iron just and forge because. something because he's like, fuck it, man, I'll do it. And like, sweet. Can I keep this? Yes, you can. <laughs> like you made it, man. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And he's like got his like big old aviators on so he can like protect his eyes and shit like that just to look cool. Dude, someday we're going to get Nick Cage on this show. We got to we got to chat with that guy, man. I doubt he's going to share like a bunch of his acting secrets with us. Yeah, because there's stuff going on there that I don't see other actors doing. No, and it's amazing. The. Uh, that part while he's making it and when he's done, it finally says the name Mandy and it looks like a fucking cool metal album cover. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that was fucking sick. It was just like. Brr. Um. And then he goes after those. OK, so are they demons? Like, what are those? No, they're just they're just like fucked up dudes because they took because the of that drugs. OK, they took so much. Even that the guy that was telling read that he's like the they took it and they never were the same again. So they're just like. Fucking like weird people, and it's cool because it almost puts this like. Paranormal, like mythic creature kind of vibe to them where they're like immortal but also like have weird like it's supernatural kind of thing yeah like, because very well, i mean weird. one of them gets shot like right in the fucking neck and it doesn't and die like, and, and pulls it out and it's still standing there i was like oh god and it's still just fine to like go one-on-one -on -one with nick yeah. cage at that but yeah when he when he's hunting him down i love that he shoots that one with the the crossbow and he falls over and when he runs him over with the car how the car flips because that dude's yeah. like covered in so much fucking metal just like bam i know i thought that was crazy too and that's why i had that weird like well what are these guys man because like but yeah, i they... well i mean you find like well and then he's and then he's in their their layer i guess like they I have don't like know. a I weird like, like they... trailer I like scary i feel place. like they took that place over because that that couple oh, that's that... dead in there <laughs> because oh, yeah. even when that guy was telling him he's like you know last i heard they saw them like down by the whatever river yeah but before we go there there's one shot once again another shot i don't know why it like hit with me is when he, the guy when he hits him with the car and it flips there's like that part where the 
guy's on the motorcycle and he's looking back and it's just like the fog and wind hitting him and like the way it's lit and just like the noise i don't know why i fucking love that shot she's like, like the uh the way the motorcycle sounded in general was really cool yeah and how yeah. bright tail lights are in this movie yeah like they're so bright they would like light up everything behind them and it's i'm like gonna i'm gonna jump back light. to like right in the beginning when he drives his like is that a blazer i don't know what the hell it Anyway, he drives it. Oh, he's, yeah, he's driving it up, and like just the the stripes, the way they're mm -hmm. like lit up, that was fucking cool. Yeah, and just like yeah. when he's going down like the the dirt roads at night, and how like the trees are only like lit up on certain parts, and it looks like he's going like a thousand miles. Yeah, like hour. super fucking fast. Dude. Yeah, which I don't think I would do. Even uh, hmm? I, I don't think I would do that if I even if I you know. Oh God, no. <laughs> yeah, when he's like in the down under the trailer whatever it was with that very long deep hole dude the fucking doom track that plays what the that was fucking cool when he goes down into the like when he's going after those people is that what you're talking about no i'm talking about like in the in the trailer oh where that he's like when he's tied up and he's got the oh, and nail has his, in his hand, hand nailed to the floor and that like that hole that the guy falls in is super deep i was like where, where does that go they? yeah i know and then he doesn't die in there <laughs> I like that when he cuts his shirt. He's like, that was my favorite shirt. And uh, it's like, once again, be beautiful, beautiful acting. He's like, do you have a death? He's like, I don't want to talk about that. Like, it's fucking, oh, God. I know. But what does he say? Uh, you are a vicious snowflake. And just like rips that thing out of the wall and just like knocks the dude out. Throws him down that hole, which is, again, what looks to be a friggin' deep ass hole. And what's cool is like, they do like this small thing to show you how deep it is. It's like when he pulls the nail out of his hand and he drops it. It hits the thing and falls down, and you don't hear it go ding for a little bit. So you're like, oh, that's a deep hole. Like, it's just yeah. like something to like sink in your mind of like, that was yeah. a deep hole, but you're not actually like paying attention to it unless you're weird. But I want to know what a vicious snowflake is. Does that mean he's like rare or sensitive? Like, in the way that dumb boomers call us snowflakes? Like, even though I don't get worked up over like anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't really understand that either, but I was like, eh, whatever. It's supposed to be the 80s. Maybe it meant something completely different. Maybe. I don't know. Then he fights that dude with a box knife or a box cutter. And then he puts that like vest on. I think it's like a bulletproof vest. I don't know. I, that's what I assumed. It must have been like, or just like thicker, you know, yeah. so it's not extremely stabbed up or whatever. Yeah. I guess you, you make do with what you got. But then he goes he's sneaking into that. Well, it's weird. That place is set up weird, too. Mm -hmm. You know, because he's in that room with the super deep hole that looks really in industrial. And then he walks into, like, what looks to be, like, a crappy trailer. Yeah. It's like a normal living room with, like, wood paneling walls. You're just like, where yeah. the fuck is he right now? Yeah. And then, and like, such a Mad Max looking villain with a giant spike, whereas, like, for like, like a cod piece and everything, I'm like, that's like a that'd be like in a Mad Max video game or a movie. You're like, well, fight yeah. This and guy. then after I saw that, then I was like, huh, that one room made a little bit more sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> when yeah. you first see that, you're like, oh, like, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, <Like>, yeah, <yikes. laughs> yeah, yuck. <laughs> And then but, I, I love the amount of blood that comes out dude. of that guy. And then his yeah. like, doesn't he like laugh at him too? Yeah, he's while like, he's like getting ah. blood in his face. God. Yeah. And then when the other guy shows back up, you're in my shit, man. You're in my shit. And he's like fucking breaks the guy's neck and that face. And he's like, ah. yeah, <laughs> I love it. So it reminded me of Kung Fu Saturday. Yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that scene. And we forgot to put the scream in it. So it was just me screaming silently. Yeah, just standing in a field. Of... Yeah. <laughs> You're in my shit, man. You're in my shit. And then Little I like how he like does the like, the cocaine off like the broken glass. Yeah. And I was like looking for his shit. And I was like, the the Another fucking great part is when he just puts a drop of that oh, yeah. on his tongue. Like, oh, and then it's like that weird shit that he sees. And then for the rest of the movie, his eyes are just like black. Yeah. And it's like so fucking cool. And then is that when he goes and talks to the guy that makes fucking acid? No, With his fire fucking hands. <laughs> he fights the uh, the guy on the beach after he oh, shoots that's him right. to the neck. What's with the pulls it out? 
was that burning car like ever relevant or they just have no, a burning car i think it's probably like the people who own the place car and the guy's just like sitting there watching it and then again like, that was another weird scene where he gets fucking shot in the neck yeah he just stands there too like doesn't react pulls it out and there's like blood coming out and he just keeps yeah. standing there watching the fire yeah like how is the yeah. But I guess like that shit, the, those drugs are just so. But I mean, in the neck, though, just like wouldn't he bleed out that's, like way faster? That's what's so cool about it is they're like so. Like. Like supernatural in their way of like existence, just the way they sound and look like that one guy just had like constant like fluid coming out of his yeah. fucking mouth through the mask. And like this guy just like can't fucking die. Like it's it's uneasy. And that's what's so yeah. cool about it. You're like, what the fuck are these things? Dude? It's one of those movies that does leave you with some questions, but not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Not in a cat that, people way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Learn the lessons from cat people. Don't yeah. don't leave the wrong questions unanswered. Yeah. How would you put that? Answer the right questions. Uh, you know, movie. leave a little. You can leave some mystery, but don't like. Don't go. Don't like bring a random character in and go like, oh, by the way, you know, we're siblings. Bye. And then. You can answer some questions. You don't have to answer everyone's, but the important ones, please answer. Those. I guess like, if it doesn't. Character is. I guess if it if it's not a character that was in the movie already and it just shows yeah. up, you know, but then David Lynch does that and it's cool when he does it. But the yeah, characters are like weird. They're normally like yeah. very they've got something with their face or they come in moving weird or they make a weird noise. They like, like get you. It's like a yeah. memorable moment. You're like, whoa. OK, the cat people one was memorable, but it's still cat know, we just we're just... dogging on it. We're dogging on that <laughs> one scene. She's in the bar. Oh, you're, you're I can't remember what she's even what she even says. It's such a weird scene. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. If, if you're if this is your uh for some reason first episode watching us, <laughs> go back to season two and watch cat people <laughs> or three. Or just watch season, cat yeah, people. So season season three. Or watch cat people if you want. Watch and then cat watch people episode about and watch the episode. Yeah. And you're still you're gonna be sitting there going, Yeah, what? why? <laughs> what? This should have just been a David Bowie music video, right? Cause that part was sick. <laughs> so I love how he, the guy's like, she's still burning. I love that. And while he's on fire is not screaming. He's just going, she's mm -hmm. burning. Then cuts his fucking head off. That's so cool. And then lights, and then lights the lights cigarette the cigarette with the fucking head. It was like, yes. awesome. Awesome. And once again, like when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I thought it was like, they kind of played off as like, he's going to go save her. Like the, the cult has her. Yeah. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, she doesn't survive. This is just a straight up fucking revenge kill yeah. movie. I'm like, nice, even yeah. better. And that is when he goes to the dude. Yeah. The the with the tiger. Dude, that Which is a, a, such a crazy fucking thing to be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I just mean, like fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Just. And then just. I mean, that's why then, his eyes are like. Oh. And then zero talking, but <sighs> answering his questions. It's like and a like one sided conversation. It was so fucking beautiful. And just the sound those mean, lights made not, when they lit up. Like, <laughs> yeah, but not even like one sided because it's like he's talking without talking. Like he's it's yeah. like he's reading his mind. Yeah, because like it's like he thinks like, oh, man, that's messed up. That you're leaving the tiger. And, oh, you're right, dude. And then just lets like, her out. Because right. right. they're both on that same level of drugs at that point. Oh, yeah, that's and right. Because like, he did the he did the the acid in that house. Yeah, and his little like extremely fast a mini trip is badass we completely yeah. skipped that <laughs> yeah the maybe face melting and stuff like, yeah ah, yeah but i think because like maybe i'm looking to it into i'm putting my own shit on it but like the chemist does so much drugs that he's like on a different fucking level and, and i so like I, I maybe he too. he can read minds and that was such a because fucking he's been cool doing scene. so much acid his brain is just like a higher level dude it's it's, it's opened up man He's freed yeah. his mind like completely. That's why yeah. he can just sit there sucking on his fingers after dipping his hands in all kinds of acid. <laughs> Which is great is because like he goes for the gun and then stops and then he he uh, turns off the the music. Which when I first saw it and it like shows his back, I thought he was playing that music like on a keyboard. I know I did I'm too. Like, oh, fucking sick, dude. And then yeah, he's like, I was like, oh, no, he's making drugs. Oops. <laughs> yeah, he's good. I love how his, I'm like. Man, his hands are all the way in that. The guy that made acid accidentally for the first time tripped really hard because he got a tiny bit on his fingers. 
And this guy's just all the this time. This guy's just dude. like, I'll have a complete conversation with you without you talking. <laughs> and your mind is like, man, they wronged you pretty good, huh? Why they gotta be like that? I just like that too. He's like, you're right. And then lets the tiger go. He's like, goodbye, yeah. Lizzie, or whatever. I he's love like, how he's like, I know it's good when she's quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like oh, you're testing that on the cat. That's messed Aww. up, dude. <laughs> or is it that he knows that he was a good guy because she wasn't growling at him? Oh, ooh, I didn't even think. Oh. That's how I took it the first time. But then watching it again, I'm like, is he experimenting on her? Well, because but when I talked goes... the first time, she's not like all crazy. So he's like, when she's quiet, I know it's good. So like, yeah. And then when and then he goes like, oh, you're right. You know, mm -hmm. and then lets her out. Yeah, that was really cool. You know, so then I thought, oh, you're testing on the cat. And then he felt oh, bad for it. Man. So he let her out. But yeah, that whole fucking scene is so cool it's also like one of the very few scenes with like white light yeah like normal light and yeah not like it's very it's a very clear scene yeah. which is weird for two men that are like tripping balls <laughs> one which is covered in blood from like here yeah. down you know yeah but yeah it's such like a clean white light whereas the rest of the movie is like purples and reds and, you, and what's weird about that is it's not really a clean place no, because like, there's like trash and shit all over the place, like yeah. uh, other than his like little like lab stuff where he's drying out, like his paper and stuff. The It's dirty, like it's it looks kind of gross and creepy, like even where the like, tiger is sitting, there's like that cage, but there's like trash around it. That part when he's like, you got a cosmic evil about you. He's like, look, and it looks down like all those fucking like millipedes on the ground. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> And that that scene, uh, like, that's what's cool too, is how he gives those people's location away. It's like north. Yeah. And that scene of like the tiger growling with the moon in the background looks like a t shirt you'd buy at like a gift shop in Estes right. Park, you know? Like, I, I'm, I'm on sure. the lookout for that t shirt, dude. Yeah, I want that shirt now. Moon in the background, tiger, tiger. Growl. His tiger shirt's cool too. Oh, yeah, that's fucking cool. It's what's weird is I had I didn't know this is a tiger shirt until like after that like part. Oh, the one was he was like, wearing in the beginning. Yeah, I was like, has he been wearing that the whole time? How could no, that he not has, stand up? He wears that in the beginning, but throughout the rest of the movie, he wears her. Well, yeah, he's wearing her shirt. Yeah, but the beginning, yeah, he's got that tiger, and you're like, oh, later on, there's a tiger. He's the tiger. Then he gets set free. Ish. <laughs> yeah. When uh. Then he, when he starts finding those guys and killing them, oh god, it was sweet, so fucking good. When like he just puts those like spike traps on the ground, and when the the van runs over him, like how there's like the shot of him, like in the creek, yeah, it's like slowly focuses on him, and then he like is just like, oh god, so fucking good. And then <laughs> rams that thing in that dude's fucking mouth, dude. Oh, so he doesn't kill that one. Does he kill that girl? Does he let her go? I think he just lets her go. I don't know, man. I don't know how. I feel like he. Out of all those people, I I think she wanted to be there. The least. Didn't want to be there. Yeah. Like she definitely was trapped and like being used. So and then you just pump them full of drugs and they, they stay. Mm -hmm. So like she definitely did not want to be there. So it almost looked like she looked relieved. And so I think like he saw that too of like, I'm not gonna kill her, she's okay. These people are fucked up. So then yeah, I just like that. Just rams that thing in that dude's mouth and just like oh, the amount oh, of blood man, spitting blood. out of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, it's better to burn or burn bright than to burn. Yeah. than to fade. Yeah. And then that beautiful shot, the guy that's like wiping down the hood of the station wagon it's, and then it's the, not axe, like <laughs> the axe just like flying through the air with like the the smoke and shit around it and just like, oh, like right stuck head. In head. yeah and then oh and then the chainsaw fight which is cool it's like something small to come back to it's like he uses the chainsaw in the beginning at that like market that Mandy works at, there's like two chainsaws behind them, you know, mm -hmm. which I totally forgot about that scene too. And like the old lady is like scoping around. Oh, yeah. And she's reading that like novel and stuff. That was fucking. But, you, you know, know I, comes... I, I thought about that scene like, man, what a creep. Wouldn't you be creeped out? But it was the 80s. Mm -hmm. 
And I think it, people were like a little bit less creeped out of stuff like that because yeah, I don't want to say that there were less creeps. I think we just knew less about them because yeah, nobody had phones they could take pictures of stuff with. People didn't get caught till later. <laughs> but uh, the chainsaw fight was so fucking cool. Like trying to start it up, and then that guy comes out with a bigger fucking chainsaw. Which I was like, giant. I didn't know they made him that big. That's fucking. I didn't cool. either. <laughs> yeah. But like the fight scenes, which which cool is like the few that are in the movie, they're not like lengthy or over the top. Yeah. Not like crazy choreography. Like yeah, they're doing like cool shit when he's fighting with the axe, but it's not like ping 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 like all this cool yeah. shit. And they're like tired and winded, which is cool. Like, yeah, they're not like fucking superheroes that never get tired and just keep yeah, going. They're like, going they're like breathing all heavy and like slowing down in between each one. Like that's fucking that, cool it, it, it gives it gives a fight scene um, like a tense moment. because you're like, oh, they're both getting tired. Mm -hmm. Which one's going to get more tired? You know, oh, yeah, like who's going to win? You know, so you're like, oh, look at these two humans go at it. You know, it's it makes it more intense. And that death is a good death, too. Yeah. Like falling on the chainsaw in your stomach and just like the blood splattering like, like all over the one. gravel like, <sighs> like that one's creative i like that yeah <laughs> and then deep into the weird church underground and that's when that sick doom track plays yeah that was cool i was like waiting for like and then like the, the cross and stuff and i'm like hell yeah and, and then goes the, down that like little pit that's like glowing red and just like the drums like the dong dong like how long it would go in between those and like there was it a... reminded me of um oh what's the name of that band they had the female uh drummer so a lot of the oh earth <laughs> yes earth that's what it yeah. reminded me of because of the yeah. drums like heavy earth where it was like really yeah. long pauses in between like a hit <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i was like god this is sick <laughs> but that cool shot when he's looking at the stairs that go down is like the fog is going in reverse so it's like sucking into like yeah. the door. I was like, oh, man. And then that. Then, yeah, then that, that woman. Oh, God. He says that I'm the best lover because I can anticipate my partner's needs, their movements, the next move. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And I like that he's not looking at her that whole time. Yeah. And then suddenly he starts to. And then it fades and you're like, okay, I don't know what happened yeah. there. Maybe she's like, I don't know. And then you get Jeremiah in that room of like, don't enter any closer. God's in this room. And then just a fucking head comes in. You're like, oh, that's what oh, there's, happens. There she is. Oh, that, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Yeah. <laughs> and that was like, a, it was like the strobe light scene in the, in the bedroom where like the light keeps coming in and out i didn't feel it's, i felt less there was a really good like that the feeling in that scene wasn't like unnerving to me though yeah it was more like you were oh you're gonna get it and this is awesome yeah. i can't wait you know like it's it just, the, it, the light's just making it more intense like it's just mm -hmm. like you know i like because like suddenly nicholas cage would be closer and yeah like, oh boy i like the guys and and the guy and, and jeremiah the guy who who's playing him is a pretty good actor as well. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed his, his like what he was doing, like his uh, trying to bargain with him at first and then trying yeah. to uh, like, you know, just doing anything like a, uh, like a manipulative cult leader would do like, mm -hmm. you know, Oh, but if, you know, I'm sorry I did this. And, but if you, you know, if you want to stick around, I can, I can show you the yeah, way. The whole reason, know? like the, this is the path that led you here. This is yeah. what was, this was supposed to happen. Kind of bullshit. Then you know? being a dick to him, like, Oh, fuck you. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like, you know, this is the reason why everything went bad. And this is why you'll never do anything. And everything's fucking mine. And then going, Oh man, don't fucking kill me, please. <laughs> I'll suck your dick. I'll suck your fucking dick. And then instantly want, after that going, I don't kneel to anybody. You nailed a me like that one, like, like another roller yeah. coaster of emotions. Yeah, but you could see, man. you could definitely see like, like they did a really, he did a really good job being like the manipulative, like cold mm -hmm. leader, and it was creepy. And even to mm -hmm. the end, it was creepy. <laughs> yep. And I was like, that I'm your god now, and then just like crushes the yeah. dude's head. And what's cool, it's not like an over the top like, 
crush is just like the skull caves in and you're like oh yeah. which is which i could see a human being able to do to somebody yeah like they were you know crushing with, the skull. with enough dr- adrenaline and being that pissed off i mean i feel like i could if <laughs> i mean he's pumped full of some kind of crazy magical drugs too so yeah. but yeah like it wasn't like squish flat explosion it was just like eye pops out and like yeah, the skull just like caved in you're like yeah. and then and the way when he burns it how it like is burning the hair of the head too. Like, yeah. I don't know why that was such a weird detail too. I'm like, Oh, that's uneasy. Just like burning the hair on it. Yeah, it like, like they're ooh. all melting and stuff. Yeah. Like, ooh. But that was, that was cool. That was, I, I enjoyed the uh, ending. That was a cool, like, well, I mean, it was a, com- that wasn't the complete ending. I guess we're not. Yeah. Complete. But different. that was like another cool transitional shot was like the fire which was cool is they use that at the beginning too there was like the just yeah. giant fire and then it went into their campfire and it was like that same shot of that fire and then like the cross and then it kind of like fades into him walking away from the burning building which was really cool it's like yeah man once again how the fuck do you guys do that shot yeah those are some really like the fading like scenes are done really cool i don't yeah, remember like really fade action I can't really think of another movie where it's done like that seamlessly. Cause I mean, there's definitely mm-hmm. movies I've seen where there's like a crossfade and it goes into a different scene, but not like this. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's re- really cool when someone can like match up the next image, you know, like yeah. fits in it in a really cool way. Like I know I've seen it a few times. I can't think of any specifics, but this it's, one's just, so it's, fucking cool. um, I mean, I would assume that it would take quite a lot of time to try. And I mean, I'm not very good at editing video, so you would know i mean i don't know yeah. if you've ever tried to do anything like that like we're fading. i think it's more more or less just trying to line up the next shots like knowing when you're positioning the camera like when you're actually going to shoot the thing you're like it has to be like this i have to see these certain things in it to go into the, the next scene so like that'd be the hardest part it's like the cinematography to it and then the editing too that's hard too it's all hard everyone deserves credit in a movie it's not just one person whole fucking like, bunch of people it was all that, nick cage <laughs> yeah he's uh, the one that did all of this movie yep <laughs> um and then his his driving away and his wife being in the seat next to him and then that crazy fucking smile that was such a fucking beautiful scene because he's just like sitting in the car and then it like goes to that moment when they like probably first met i'm assuming yeah. That's what I and thought. It's like, like it's a weird. Sh- it's like at a show or something. Yeah, and like how she's like in color, and he's just like sitting there in normal light, and he like gets a cigarette, and then once he sees her, his world kind of changes too, and then he's all in this color, and then it's like them driving in his truck, and now it's him driving in the car, and he's all bloodied looking at her, like, and then that smile, the yeah, the <laughs> Nicolas Cage cool guy smile. But yeah, such a fucking beautiful scene. Like that was another one where I was like, <sighs> right, and it shows them like. I was like, man, like this is it's what's funny is it was what I was branded as a horror movie. Which I don't know if I feel like it's a horror movie. No, it's just I mean, there's like horror elements, but it's not like a horror movie. It's like a I don't know, just a a bloody action draw. Like, I don't know how like I'm not good at doing genres and shit. So, well, I think you're getting close. And a <laughs> bloody yeah. bloody action drama thriller. Yeah, yeah, thriller. There we go. Yeah, f- you know, a- action fantasy thriller. I don't know. Well, there's some, there's some whatever drama. it is. Definitely, it's and it, whatever it is, it's it's good. Okay, so I get. I guess that then at the end, he's just tripping fucking balls still with the like yeah, cool like, just... planet um, background as he drives away. Yeah, like two planets in the sky. Yeah, too. like is is he like? I mean, is he gonna be like those biker guys? Is he never gonna be the same? I mean, I obviously he's not going to. The woman he loved was burned in front of him, and he just murdered a bunch of people. Yeah, but <laughs> is there gonna be like permanent side effects from the drugs in his brain? I would assume so. If those guys got that jacked up, but I mean, they're yeah. they're chugging it by the jar. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, he had a little like dab on his like, finger. So I mean, yeah. Uh, but I mean, that was seemed pretty intense, too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was it was such a good ending like that shot, too, which is cool. Is like there's a couple shots 
I mean, all of Beyond the Black Rainbow is shot the same, like very colorful and weird, like cool lens flare. But there's one that like sticks with me that I remember is like the bad guy driving in his car and it's like he's just lit so yellow. And it's like it's just such a weird look. And it's like you can kind of barely see him because you see it through the windshield. But he's just like so yellow. Like and it kind of is like the same thing. He like this guy knows how to how light car driving, which is really fucking cool. But like in a in like an abstract, like artsy way, like because there's yeah. a there's a scene. Well, I think it's when he's driving to that weird like cult church and mm -hmm. there's literally just a red light in the window behind him and it's just like shining right through. I like yeah. that. That was a cool scene. It's yeah. a very quick scene. It's him just mm -hmm. driving, but you could like his face and then right to the side here, the light. Like they don't. Yeah. Like it's not even like hidden. It's just a bright, like red purplish yeah. light right through. It's cool. Yeah. There's a lot of cool like lens flare in this movie. Not like the JJ Abrams level of lens flare, but like. Yeah, but that's like level. it's like CG lens flare. <laughs> yeah. Like this. I don't know. It's like it's like whereas this looks like you're purposely shot, pointing man. the camera at some light. Whereas his yeah, looks no, like, whoa. and look how nice right, this click and drag looks. This. Look how yeah. pretty click that and, is. Click and Everything drag is so crystal clear. <laughs> you know? I'm JJ fucking Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he wakes up in the morning every day. <laughs> I'm JJ fucking Abrams. <laughs> I brought back Star Trek. I brought back Star Wars, and then I ruined Star Wars. I'm JJ fucking Abrams. <laughs> if you if you've ever Felt like you wanted to belong, but don't want to join a creepy cult where a guy puts his dong in your face for a while and you have to trip drugs. There is a better place for you. That's not a cult. I can't stress that enough. It's not a cult. Not a cult. What's it called? It's called Project Nerd. It's Project Hyphen Nerd. And guess what? We're there. And we're not part you of should a go cult. There. And neither are the other people there because they do cosplay. They do unboxings and they do uh, music stuff. Um, there's interviews. There's there's cool horror stuff going on there. There's there's uh, what else they got? What else? My missing it's, stuff. It's nerd. It's ner I just it's nerd stuff. It's nerding. It's nerding out. It's not a cult. I cannot stress enough. It's not a cult. You should watch it. You don't have to join it. Yeah, you could unless you, you're good. Then you can join it. Yeah. And you can you can you bring other people. You know, bring them along. Yeah. Make them not not make them. Just put on a video. Have them watch. Follow it. us. Yeah do what we say but not like a cult yeah show your friends and family make them enjoy it but it's not a cult show how much so show, show show us how much you love us yeah by but it's not a cult watching multiple shows on project nerd it's not a cult it's not a cult project hyphen nerd yeah. go watch it it's not a cult okay time to rate them let's right. get it going so am i am i going first this time Yes. Okay. So this was the first time I had ever seen this movie. Um, wow. Uh, it was it was friggin' awesome. Um, any movie that can be super actiony and weird, but almost make me cry a couple times. Um, and from like cry from literally like action, like acting. Um, like no dialogue, just pure emotion like and being that emotional and i and again i'm just um a big uh, fanboy for nick cage so maybe it's just that um but his performance in this is fucking amazing like there's not really any other way to put that it's fucking awesome and i'm a little bummed that i waited so long to watch this movie i should have watched it in 2018 not 2022 but hey better late than never so um i am gonna give this movie uh i'm gonna give it we give it 10 out of 10 uh jars of acid <laughs> nice beautiful i like it um, colors and colors and stuff included there's all kinds of stuff i can say about this movie it's fucking awesome yeah i mean i think uh, i can't say anymore without just fucking beating it into the ground and repeating ourselves a hundred times uh phenomenal acting from everybody involved especially mr cage beautiful colors beautiful cinematography fantastic fucking soundtrack uh I don't know. I think this might have been the reason I got Shudder. So if if you want to watch this movie, you have to watch it on Shudder. It's a Shudder exclusive or you can buy it on DVD. But uh, it's a great fucking film. I am going to give this movie 10 Cheddar Goblins out of 10. So it's I cannot say it enough. 
is this, watch this, the, is this the first film that we both gave a 10 out of 10 on no because i think roger rabbit we gave it both like 40 bajillion out of 40 bajillion oh yeah that was that yeah so but i think yeah this is like this one's got the seal of approval from us go two guys that, one go film and, go ahead and show them the slap again dude oh high yeah. five that's a seal man this is the two guys one film film seal of approval he just got a perfect score i guess i guess uh, i guess that's it i guess that's it again Oh, I, mean, I really, I really, so I really sorry. appreciate sort of save a little bit of that. I mean, now I feel like I'm being a little pushy, but I think what it is is I'm hangry. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe, maybe don't eat the entire thing. All right. Well, what if I just don't eat it on camera? Well, I mean, if it's still going away, then then I'm still not going to oh. get any food. That's true. Okay, for for sure, I will definitely stop eating this thing. All right, and I, I will feel give like you I, something. I feel like you're not eating. You're not going to stop eating. I'm going to get no food like I normally do. There's a good amount left. Is there? Mm hmm. I can't drink any more. That's so fucking bad. Don't tell Bert that is such a bad wine. <laughs> Please don't drink that, folks. It is so bad. Well, folks, for Two Guys One Film, this has been a fantastic episode. For Two Guys One Film, I'm Dylan. And I'm Dane. And go check out Mandy. Don't be a dope. Yeah, don't be a dope. It's great. I want to get out of prison. Real fast.